manifesto launch for a man who needs a massive lift. In a room full of party faithful at the Silverstone circuit, the PM hoping to persuade voters he's still in the race. It's great to be with you all and great to be here at Silverstone. Nowhere better, in fact, to mark the fact that our economy has truly turned a corner. But despite the pressure to get back on track, there were no big surprises. The giveaways stick into favoured dividing line territory of Tory tax cuts. We are cutting taxes for workers, for parents and pensioners. And we are the party of Margaret Thatcher and Nigel Lawson, a party unlike Labour that believes in sound money. With the threat of reform looming large over this campaign, a double down on Rwanda and a fresh promise to clear a backlog of asylum seekers within six months. And the Prime Minister clear splitting the Conservative vote only serves to usher Keir Starmer into Downing Street. We will enable working people to keep more of the money that you earn because you have earned it and have the right to choose what you spend it on. Now, Keir Starmer takes a very different view. He says he's a socialist. And we all know what socialists do, don't we? They take more of your money because they think it belongs to them. The grassroots still supporting the attack lines, but even the cabinet looked nervy in the front row, wearied by a difficult campaign and worried this can't be turned around. I'm not blind to the fact that people are frustrated with our party and frustrated with me. Things have not always been easy and we have not got everything right. But we are the only party in this election with the big ideas to make our country a better place to live. Labour's more trusted on tax than you at the moment. That's your record as Chancellor and now Prime Minister. I'm sure it's a disappointment to you. Haven't you blown it now, whatever you say? Well, Beth, I'm actually very proud of my record as Chancellor. Yeah. Because when I'd had that job three, four weeks and a pandemic struck this country, I saw that it was right to do something radical. So I'm not afraid to do things that are difficult. The only poll that matters is the poll on July 4th. And I'm very confident as we approach that date, the choice will become increasingly clear for people. There is only one party that will continue to cut your taxes after July 4th, and it's the Conservative Party. There was warm support in the room here from the home crowd for the PM, but he really is on the ropes. This manifesto, a kitchen sink of policies throwing it all at you in the hope that something appeals and something sticks. But the bigger question really is whether this election is already lost for Rishi Sunak, no matter what he does now. Sunak's top team trying to put a brave face on it. The polls are going the wrong way. You're doing, you're doing more badly. You're done. This, you cannot win this election. It's over. Uh, well, I've been in campaigns before when people have said that it's over and they've looked at opinion polls and the opinion polls... You're 23 have, points The opinion behind polls have points. proved... You were literally 21 have proved wrong. Points. On the Labour campaign today in London, the Shadow Chancellor insisting voters shouldn't buy in to Tory promises. Their rhetoric today is about tax cuts. Their record is one of tax rises. 26 increases in tax in this parliament alone, yielding the highest tax burden in 70 years. The Conservatives are gaslighting you and no one will believe their claims. This has at times seemed like a car crash Conservative campaign. The PM picking Silverstone as the place to try to get his bid for number 10 back into gear. Beth Rigby, Sky News, Silverstone.